this for 10 years and so I've you know just been doing my research and finally came across the foundation and then from there I've just been getting literature pretty much every month or perhaps it's quarterly I've been getting literature from CLF and it's just you know really really calmed me down about the whole thing. Last October uh, my fiance it was all his idea he decided that we should kind of put a little spin on our wedding celebration we're getting married in about a month and last October he decided that Instead of, you know, the normal gift giving situation that guests do at weddings, we are asking for donations to nonprofit organizations, one of which is the Cutaneous Lymphoma Foundation. So any and all proceeds that we get, we are donating because we just we feel like it's such an important cause and in the long run this will help me as well. So yeah, that's what we're doing and we're extremely excited about it. The two-day event has been amazing from the camaraderie amongst all the patients, meeting people that are suffering with the same thing that I am, and just, you know, discussing our highs and lows and what it's done to our lives. It's, it's just been everything. The standout things for me so far has been the patient stories. Um, you know, hearing from Brett Weiss, he's a young patient like myself, so we had a very, very similar story. I mean, even down to our very first spots being on the back of our thighs. That was awesome. Just, again, hearing from someone that's just like me and also hearing about the future of treatments. That's, that's been awesome. I spoke at this conference yesterday telling my story. I'm trying to become more and more involved with the foundation. This is a great foundation. It's very small. Um, amount of people that work for it, which is great because it feels like local, even though they're national. You know, I know the CEO, you know? How many foundations can you say that you know the CEO? And I just started getting involved like a few months ago. And I'm not an extreme case. It's very nice, it's very nice. It feels like a family, you know? It feels like uh, you kind of walked into this like open arms family. And um, you know, in like this world that doesn't really exist as much. So it's very nice um, and uh, personal. I'm doing an Urban Modder. It's a benefit, so you can choose the foundation you want to donate to. They're paired with Make-A-Wish Foundation. However, I've chosen to donate to the Cutaneous Lymphoma Foundation. And right now, we're the top. You know, we're the top. We've raised the most money so far of all the foundations, which is not a terrible amount of money, but it's the most money right now. And uh, looking for more. So <laughs> we um, excited, I'm excited to, to do it. It's a physical challenge and it's a, uh, a little bit of a mental challenge, more physical challenge, something to, to kind of do something different. You know, hopefully if I get to the point where we raise a decent amount of money and there's some sort of a awareness building there, you know, people won't kind of even just ask what that is, you know, and that would get some conversations starting. Like I said, there's a lot of, I can't imagine that there's not a lot of people walking around with this just like I am that just have no idea. And they go to their dermatologist and they get diagnosed for psoriasis and then they get steroids to put on it and then it macerates the skin. And then when they get a, a test done, it doesn't come out as MF because it's already disturbed. You know, I was lucky to get it the first time. I mean, even though it wasn't the perfect way to get diagnosed, the guy knew enough to do it. And so I'm thankful for that. <laughs>